I love that saying. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst it's that gotten can me happen? in trouble a few and times. Yeah. But <laughs> Hello, I'm your host, Lorette Rondonet, and this is Owning Your Legacy, a podcast designed to inspire you to leave a mark on the world. This is the most comfortable podcast that I've ever been in in my yeah. entire life. Probably the most feminine one, too. <laughs> it's really yeah. fit. Very feminine. So what kind of motivates you and gets you out of bed in the morning? Are you steering me towards the quote of just proving everything wrong? (laughs) No, but I love that one. (laughs) You know, if you can see it, you can be it. I love that saying so much. It's one of my favorites. What am I giving to the next generation that enable them to go through problems, to go through stress and, and strife and come out and go, I can do this because I know how. I loved not completely going off the rails, but I loved taking it all the way to the edge to where it felt like it was about to, and then I kept it together. Sometimes you don't know exactly what's around the corner, but if you do the right thing, work hard, follow your passion, good things will come. I agree. Think of the freedom you would have in taking risk and making decisions if you knew you'd be okay. Because your truest desires can come out if you're given permission to say there are no consequences. What I always say is what my mother would say is nothing beats a try but a failure. You step in and say, this can be done. Yeah, it's hard. Of course, everything's hard. Like, you know, you're, you're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to do something. Let's wake up in the morning and do something that, that really makes a difference to people. You cannot just work by yourself and make change. You have to work with like-minded people who want that change. If you really think it's a big idea, you go and get it and make it happen. Having that that courage to, to find your path and your passion and to do it. It's so many people don't have the courage to try. Loving and joyful people elevate the world. That's how you make the profound impact. And action. What is the legacy that you would like to leave behind?